Oh, hey, Rose. Oh, hey, Sister Nerd Video. So excited to ask you some questions today. So excited to talk with you. Come on up. Thank you. You can come on up. Welcome to the Rose Dirt House. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. So, what's your middle name? My middle name is Eleanor. Beautiful, amazing. And what's your major and minor? I am an arts management major, no minors. It's whatever, um, amazing. We can head on inside. Perfect. So, what's your zodiac sign? Um, I am a Taurus sun, Cancer moon, Leo rising. The rest of my big six are all Gemini. Mm, love how you gave all the detail on that one. Of course, of course, of course. So, do you have any siblings? Two older brothers, but they're not really important. So, what made you want to come to CFC? I wanted to come to CFC definitely for the location. I love being in Charleston. Favorite, love it. And what's your favorite event on campus? Definitely Pep Supper. We can come on in. Okay. Um, but I might be partial since I did plan it last year. Fair <laughs> enough. And what's your favorite class that you've taken? Um, I would have to say Black Nationalism with Matthew Kressler. Okay, and I guess that answers my next question of who your favorite professor is. Yes, love Matthew Kessler. Hey, um, and then also Jonathan Newfeld, who teaches philosophy. Um, do you have a go-to study spot on campus? I love the library, but I have to sit in the back where I see no one entering or I get distracted. Fair enough. And what are you involved in on campus? I am involved in Chi Omega sorority. I am involved in Panhellenic Council, and then I'm involved in Order of Omega, which is a Greek Leadership Honor Society, which I am president of. Amazing. And why did you join Kayo? I joined Kayo because the women in there made me feel inspired to be the best version of myself. Very wholesome. And what's your sorority's philanthropy? We support Make-A-Wish. Amazing. And what do you love most about Greek life? I love seeing women come together and build something bigger than themselves. So empowering. And give us some sorority tea. I don't think I can share anything, but it's all up here. Okay, fair enough. Respect it. And why did you want to be a part of Panhellenic? Definitely wanted to produce a space that other people felt comfortable in as much as I felt comfortable in. I loved my Panhellenic experience and I wanted to share. Yeah, um, so you seem pretty busy. So how do you handle your workload? Going to bed by 10 p.m. Solid. <laughs> And what's the weirdest thing in your house? I would say the weirdest thing in my house, I would say top three are all in here. I would say number one would be this glass head of lighters. Very interesting. Solid. Um, and then up here we have this pink Jesus statue that's also a magic eight ball. I don't know. Um, and a little altar to him and then over here my roommate is an avid um rec room claw machine girly she's won every single one of these absolutely absolutely incredible skills so shout out the recovery room love it um tell us about your social media presence uh my social media presence is definitely bold bright and i would say most importantly i love to keep it delusional Fair enough. And <laughs> plug your socials while you're at it. Um, Roser Bloom on Instagram. And contrary to popular belief, my last name is not Dirt. And we can keep heading this way. All right. Um, top Rose Dirt social media moment. Definitely when someone yik yak Rose Dennis gives me a headache. And I decided it was necessary to put it on a t-shirt, bedazzle them, and then give them to my closest friends. Fair enough. And what's your favorite app? Uh, Google Calendar, for sure. The only thing that keeps me going in this world. <laughs> All right. And what's your screen time? Um, today it was saying one minute, and I'm just going to assume that's correct, even though I know it's not. Fair enough. And what's your favorite device or appliance? Definitely it's going to be in my kitchen if you want to head this way. Um, it's my miniature dishwasher. I love her. She gets the job done every day, every night. Couldn't be prouder of her and all of her work. All right, and what is something that you can't live without? Definitely my phone, but I'll be nice and say my friends. Hold some. And what's your go-to restaurant in Charleston? Right now I am loving Little Line up on Line Street. Definitely the best breakfast sandwich in town. Cute. And what's your favorite pasta noodle? Definitely I'm gonna have to say a macaroni noodle, but that might be because I have it tattooed. <laughs> 
Um, and what's your favorite animal? Again, I'm going to have to say a macaroni, and I can explain that more in my bedroom if you want to follow me. Perfect. Um, okay, welcome to my room. First off, I'll show you. Oh! That's Eloise. That is not macaroni. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Um, this is macaroni. <laughs> um, he was my dog who died back in February. This is his memorial sign. Um, he's sort of scattered throughout the whole room, so you might see him. Um, but yeah, that's macaroni. Okay. Um, how would you describe your aesthetic? Um, I feel like it's if a preppy sorority girl, like, went camp. Okay. Okay. Um, and what is the show that you're currently watching? Um, not currently watching it right now. Just some, like, reruns on, like, TikTok and stuff. But Desperate Housewives is my favorite forever of all time. All right. And what's the last movie you watched? Samantha and American Girl Doll. I watched it this morning. Incredible film. Definitely top three. Amazing. And what is your guilty pleasure piece of media? Don't really believe in guilty pleasure pieces of media. Just like what you like and enjoy it. Fair enough. And what is your top four on Spotify last year? Okay, this is humbling. Top one, of course, Taylor Swift, obviously. Duh. Second, Phoebe Bridgers, classic. Third, Lauren Sanderson, fourth. The Glee cast. Slay. And how would you feel if you got turned into a frog? I would feel wet and slimy. Okay. And what is your pet peeve? I hate when people aren't driven. I love a little passion. Come on, get, get excited about something. Okay. And do you have a secret talent? Um, I can do impromptu slam poetry incredibly well. Okay. Love it. <laughs> And what is your favorite word right now? Um, serendipitous has been rolling off the tongue lately. Like, okay. like no other. It's a big word for sure. And three words to describe Clyde the Cougar. I would say bold, bright, and delusional, just like my Instagram. Um, amazing. Well, thank you for having us today and letting us see your home. Of course. I hope you enjoyed. Yes. Um, well, I'll show you out. Thank you. Thank you.